Roger Myrtle. Roger Myrtle is a fictional character in the Lethal Weapon film series created by Shane Black. Myrtle was originally played by actor Danny Glover in all four films from 1987 to 1998 and later by Damon Waynes in the Fox television series from 2016 to 2019. Lethal Weapon 1987 Lethal Weapon 1987 Myrtle is a cynical homicide detective and family man. He was a lieutenant of the 173rd Airborne Brigade in the U.S. Army and served in the Vietnam War. He joined the Los Angeles Police Department in 1967 and celebrates his 50th birthday at the start of Lethal Weapon. He has begun to consider retirement, hence his catchphrase, I'm too old for this shit. He is partnered with Luz Cannon and fellow Vietnam War veteran Martin Riggs Mel Gibson to investigate a suspected suicide of the daughter of one of Myrtle's closest friends. Though the two initially hate each other, Myrtle begins to sympathise with Riggs when Riggs saves his life. After Myrtle discovers that his close friend from the Vietnam War, Michael Hunsicker, has been laundering the profits from a heroin trafficking cartel, he confronts Hunsicker and learns the details of the organisation before Mr Joshua Gary Busey, the cartel's primary henchman, assassinates Hunsicker. The cartel kidnaps Myrtle's older daughter, Ryan, in an attempt to make Myrtle reveal what Hunsicker told him. Myrtle and Riggs plan an ambush, which fails. The cartel tortures Myrtle and threatens to torture Ryan as well until Riggs rescues them. He manages to kill General McAllister, the head of the cartel, by shooting the driver of his car, causing a bus versus car crash and a gigantic explosion. He supports Riggs as he fights and arrests Mr Joshua, and then he and Riggs kill Joshua when he attempts to shoot Riggs. By the end of the film, he has foregone retirement and accepted Riggs into his family. Lethal Weapon 2 1989 Lethal Weapon 2 1989 Myrtle is targeted by a South African gang drug cartel fronted by ruthless diplomat Arjun Rudd, who has Myrtle and his wife assaulted in their own home, forcing Myrtle to temporarily move his family out. To assist Driggs' investigation of the South African consulate, Myrtle portrays a man named Alpunce who wants to emigrate to South Africa to help overthrow apartheid. Following this, Myrtle fights off two attackers in his home with an air gun and rescues new friend Leo gets Joe Peskai, a federal witness, from the cartel. He helps Riggs track down and kill the other members of the cartel when it is revealed that the cartel murdered Riggs' wife. This includes an assault on a cargo ship which ends in the death of the remaining members of the cartel, including Rudd, whom Myrtle kills after he shoots Riggs. Lethal Weapon 3 1992 Lethal Weapon 3 1992 Myrtle and Riggs mishandle a car bomb, which destroys a building. As punishment, both are demoted to patrolmen, but they are in their previous rank when they fall an armoured car robbery and expose a gun-running cartel. While investigating this cartel, Myrtle kills a 15-year-old boy to protect Riggs. The boy is revealed to be Daryl, the best friend of Myrtle's son Nick. Myrtle is overcome by guilt and succumbs to alcoholism and depression until Riggs helps him move on. Myrtle works with Riggs and internal affairs officer Lorna Cole in Erosso to destroy the cartel. As a comical sidelight, Myrtle also helps Riggs quit smoking by giving him dog biscuits instead. He does show some hostility towards Riggs, however, when he believes that Riggs is becoming romantically involved with his daughter Ryan. However, Riggs opens up to him, admitting that he sees Myrtle's family like his own family, the kids like his own children. In the midst of it all, Myrtle enlists the help of Gitz to sell his house, but in the end decides to keep the house when he decides not to retire. Lethal Weapon 4 1998 Lethal Weapon 4 1998 When the city loses its insurance carrier due to all the property damage that Riggs and Myrtle have caused in the job, they are temporarily promoted to captain in hopes of keeping them off the street. Their status as veteran officers keeps them from being disciplined or fired and there are no open lieutenant slots available. By the end of the film, the sergeant's ranks are restored due to the city now being self-insured. Myrtle's oldest daughter Ryan is pregnant with his first grandchild and is secretly married to LAPD Sergeant Lee Butters Chris Rock, but she decides not to tell her father until after the baby is born because she went against his wishes of marrying a police officer. However, prior to finding out, Myrtle mistakenly thought that Butters was gay and attracted to him because of all the nice things he was trying to do for Myrtle, which was actually intended for him to stay on his father-in-law's good side, which Shrieks helped exploit this misconception after he learned the truth from Lorna. 
Later, Myrtle hits Riggs for not telling him about Ryan and butters Riggs and butters blurt out the truth after being exposed to nitrous oxide after interrogating Uncle Benny Kim-chan. When Myrtle accidentally kills the brother of Triad Enforcer Wasin Ku Jet Lai, Riggs and Myrtle engage in an intense physical altercation with Ku, resulting in Ku's death and Riggs being crushed beneath rubble underwater. Myrtle rescues Riggs, and the two celebrate Ryan's marriage to Butters and the birth of their daughter, joined by Lorna, Leo Getz, and the rest of Myrtle's family in the hospital. Weapons in all four films, Myrtle's signature weapon is a four Smith and Wesson Model 19.357 Magnum revolver, which Riggs calls a six shooter. A lot of old timers carry those. In movies 2 minus 4, he also uses the Smith and Wesson Model 5000, 969 and pistol as a backup gun. In popular culture, Myrtle's catchphrase line too old for this shit has become associated with Clover who uses the catchphrase and variations of it in other roles as well, such as his role as a patriarch in Almost Christmas, a cameo in Maverick and his guest spots on sack. In the How I Met Your Mother episode Myrtle, Ted Mosby, portrayed by Josh Radner, has a Myrtle list of things which he has gotten too old to eat, do, and enjoy. In the season 7 episode Ransom of NBC Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Captain Raymond Holt, played by Andre Breuer, claims that the movie was made on his crazy life back in the 80s. When Jake Peralta asks him which movie it was, he insists he doesn't remember and walks off saying I'm too old for this crap, hinting that it was the Lethal Weapon series. Reception Critics have given the character a mixed reception. The Los Angeles Times described the character as being a sexless character from a sitcom.